Now, Wisconsin's primary is still about a month away, but still, there is something for us to learn from this Super Tuesday. Our Christina Laurie joins us now to explain. Christina, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh and Leah. The latest Marquette Law School poll released less than a week ago showed Wisconsin voters had narrowed the field of Democratic candidates largely down to three, Biden, Sanders, and Bloomberg. And after last night's contest, analysts are predicting only two of those candidates have a real path forward. The former vice president took home the most delegates in more than half of yesterday's contests. And Sanders was the winner in most of the other states. Bloomberg's lone victory came in the American Samoa, which has political analysts questioning this morning whether or not he has a real path forward. In last week's poll, Sanders was Wisconsin voters' top pick to win our state's primary on April 7th. Bloomberg was polling second and Biden in third. As yesterday's results are still coming in, that appears to be changing. And so I think the party, the establishment wing of the party, has started to say it's time to coalesce around a nominee we want. Uh, that's not something the Republicans did in 2016. All of the establishment candidates kept fighting it out, leaving Donald Trump, the anti-establishment candidate, to get the nomination. Professor Wagner calls Wisconsin a critical state to win, and it's largely projected that the candidate who wins our state in the general election will become the next president. Right now, all three of Wisconsin's top polling candidates are in a statistical tie with President Trump, according to the latest Marquette Law School poll, but that's one month before voters here cast their primary ballots again on April 7th. And you might remember back in 2016, Sanders actually won our state's primary, but then the Democratic Party kind of coalesced and came together around Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll certainly be interesting to see if Sanders can repeat that win in 2020 here. He certainly has big support among college-age students, and we know Madison, big hub for that. Yeah. We will be watching. Christina Laurie, thank you. Thank you. All right.